वेलकम बीबीए प्रोग्राम फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर लर्नर यू आर हैविंग ए कोर्स ऑन सेल्स एंड रिटेलिंग मैनेजमेंट एज यू ऑल नो दैट कोर्स हैज सर्टेन यूनिट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी शैल टेक अप यूनिट वन दैट इज अ वेरी इंट्रोडक्टरी एस्पेक्ट टू द कोर्स इंट्रोडक्शन टू सेल्स मैनेजमेंट दैट इज द टाइटल ऑफ द यूनिट and this unit has got a number of learning objectives and in this unit what i'll do i shall cover in this video all entire unit in three parts part 1 i shall take up some of the learning objectives part 2 again some learning objectives and part 3 some learning objectives and i hope after uh, watching these three videos you will be able to understand the basics of sales management retailing management will come in the subsequent units first unit is basically an introductory unit about sales management and this entire video is based on the self learning materials that you have already read or you are going to read so you can relate you this video with your self learning material and you can converse on both of the these two and you can complete as your learning so in this part one video we shall take up these three learning objectives one is define sales management you should be able to define sales management what is sales management then you should be able to outline the objectives of sales management why sales management is required what purposes does it serve then we shall take up the third objective that what are the types of selling let us start one by one first we shall start with definition of sales management what is the concept of sales management sales management means managing the sales people you know in product price place promotion which you have already studied in marketing product price place promotion promotion comprises of personal selling so this sales management is basically the management of the personal selling function of the promotional mix it's not about advertising it's not about public relations it's not about publicity it's not much about sales promotion but sales management has got important thing as as we know marketing mix or promotional mix it's basically an integration so we cannot see anything in isolation all are interrelated but for the purpose of understanding we need to have an understanding of the isolated component also so what is sales management sales management is basically the management of the personal selling function it basically means managing the sales people the personal sales people effectively and efficiently to increase the sales volume ultimately basic objective of sales management is sales volume to increase the sales how do we increase the sales we employ company sales people and how do we manage those sales people so that they can achieve the sales volume in the least possible cost so they will have to be concerned about the selling cost also as we all know sales minus cost is profit so they will have to increase the sales that is effectiveness part and they will have to increase the sales with least amount of cost that is the efficiency part So once again I will repeat that the definition sales management means managing the sales people effectively means in terms of achieving results and efficiently means in terms of consuming resources means in terms of reducing expenditures increasing sales at reduced cost that is the purpose of the sales people so that the company sales volume increases and profit also increases so sales management means managing the sales people effectively and efficiently to increase the sales volume and to make it more simpler the sales management is basically management of the personal selling function which is concerned with attainment of sales objectives sales volume at a least cost many times when we come across the definitional aspect we need to make a resort to the standard definitions and in marketing terminology many times we refer to american marketing association for this terminology because that is normally worldwide accepted 
And if you carefully go, this is a higher level definition from the definition that we have just now discussed. And if you carefully go through this definition, you will find a number of words which mean a lot. And this is basically a comprehensive, a higher level definition. According to American Marketing Association, sales management means planning, direction, and control. So we'll have to plan, we'll have to implement, we'll have to direct, and we'll have to control. What? Of personal selling function, which includes recruitment of salespeople, selection of salespeople, equipping the salespeople with sales aid, in case of medical representatives, they need to be given the samples to be presented to the doctors, assigning, assigning them to the territories over a geographical area. Uh, one salesperson cannot cover all the areas, so particular geographical territory will be allotted to uh, someone, another one to be, suppose Dorong district is to Mr. X, Kamrup district is to Mr. Y, so assigning the territories, then routing. Say Mr. X is in Kamrup rural, so today he will go to Rongia, day after tomorrow he will go to Nalbari, then the seventh day he will go to say some other places in the Kamrup, met Kamrup district. So that is a routing, how he will route his activities. Then his activities need to be supervised. Then that particular salesperson will have to be paid in terms of salary, in terms of incentives, and he will have to be constantly motivated so that he can achieve his the goals so can he can achieve the tax allotted to him with this background let us read let us go through the higher level definition of american marketing association and shall try to understand because this covers the entire gamut of sales management so sales management is what according to american marketing management as american marketing association it means planning direction and control of personal setting that part should be made should be clear to you that sales management means planning direction and control of personal selling which includes what which includes recruitment of the sales people selection of the sales people equipping the sales people means giving them the required selling aids maybe pamphlets banners samples gifts right then giving them certain territories then within the territories how they will root their activities supervising them motivating them and making compensation to them paying compensation to them for the services that they have given to the company so this definition you must understand to understand the entire gamut of sales management so what are the objectives of sales management objectives of sales management undoubtedly right over the years, the objective of sales management is to increase sales, is not it? To increase sales volume, to accomplish the targets, so that they can contribute to the profit potential of the company. Because in order to contribute profit potential for the company, they would have to manage the sales activities with least possible cost. So managing cost and achieving sales volume. These are the two main objectives. And why do we do this? In order to sustain, in order to augment the growth of the organization. So basically the objectives of sales management are threefold. Increasing sales volume, then contribution to profit by managing the cost and by doing so contributing towards the growth potential of the company. These are the objectives of sales management. Now, dear learners, after having an understanding of what is sales management, what is the definition of sales management, understanding what could be the objectives of sales management, let us try to understand the different types of selling. Different types of selling in your SLM, self-learning material, there is a detailed discussion and in order to facilitate you to have a proper understanding, you see there are three basically three types of salesperson. One is order takers, they are just simply order takers, they will not motivate much the buyers that you choose this, you choose that, right, if you choose this, this will be the benefits, not much, it's done to some extent, but basically, right, if you go to a restaurant, right, there will be the inside order taker, 
or nowadays Swiggy, Yamato, etc. They are the delivery sales people. Or it could be outside order taker. Somebody will be visiting house to house, will collect the orders. So they are basically order takers. But there could be some, right, they will not collect any order. But they will create the demand. Say, take the examples of, say, our medical representatives. They visit the doctors. They try to uh, communicate to the doctors about the company, about the products. So, so that the doctors think about the products. And in case of any patient coming across with the, the, the kind of ailment, so they will prescribe the medicine and that will be made available in the pharmacy and the medical representative will see that the medicines are available in the pharmacy if the doctor prescribes in case of ethical pharmaceutical goods. So they will be creating order not directly as such. That is a kind of missionary selling. And there could be, right, there's in case of say high involvement durable goods, you are going to purchase a laptop. So while going to purchase a laptop, you may be interested in several features. So the computer shop, they will be giving you a number of alternatives, different brands, features, and then you will have a discussion with them, right? You will apply your own understanding. Then possibly after having all these things, right, they will execute a particular order. So order takers, it's, a, it's not much of selling as such. Order creators, it's a different kind of selling. And order getters, in which lots of selling conversation, the seller-buyer, dyadic relationship takes place. So dear learners, we have discussed in this particular small video about introduction of sales management, definition of sales management, standard definition of sales management, objectives of sales management and the types of selling. We shall cover the remaining uh, parts of this particular unit in two other small videos. Thank you.